I'm doing an art giveaway. Watch until the end and I'll explain. You know what really sucks? Getting rejected. Recently, I got rejected from an art proposal. Doesn't feel good. If you've ever been rejected from something, and it could be in a relationship, a friendship, a job, not getting invited to that really cool party and seeing everyone post about it on social media, having fun, eating pizza and laughing without. If any of that has happened to you and you spend too much time feeling down on yourself, or maybe stop trying altogether because it hurts so bad, listen up. I'm gonna teach you how to handle rejection because my name is Ryan Tate and I get rejected every day. <laughs> Just kidding, my name is Ryan Tate and I'm an artist. Okay, so a little backstory. My city put on a contest where they were going to pay cash money to artists to put their art in vacant storefronts. These spots are premium locations in the heart of the city. They get tons and tons of foot traffic every day. So clearly an amazing opportunity. The only requirement they gave was to activate the space and give people something to stare at. So you can do anything you want. So I'm thinking, oh, I got this. I go all out and make a rock solid proposal. I tell them I'm going to make a giant monster called a trash kraken. It's gonna be colorful, it's gonna be dynamic, it's gonna have a message. The concept of the piece is about climate change, which is very topical, especially to the city of Seattle. Since the new hockey team is called the Kraken, and the new arena is called the Climate Pledge Arena. You see I'm checking all the boxes. It's gonna be activating the space. It's gonna be connected to the area. To seal the deal, I Photoshop this beautiful piece of concept art of what it would actually look like in one of their real glass available storefront locations. Now here's a video of me reading my rejection letter. Dear Ryan, our review panel considered every application carefully and unfortunately, yeah, your application was not selected for the Seattle Restore program. OMG. That's okay. I'm not gonna lie. It still stings every time. Now, I'm no expert, clearly, and am just learning as I go. But here are three tips that made sense to me on how to handle rejection. Feel your feelings and don't run away from them through distraction. I'd heard that phrase before, feel your feelings, but it never really made sense to me until I got into therapy. Pretty much try to identify how you feel, sad, mad, embarrassed, and think about where you feel it in your body. For me, my anxiety usually switches spots between my head, chest, and stomach. I don't know why, and maybe someone smarter than me can write why in the comments, but thinking about my emotions in this way makes me feel like I'm sitting with them versus they're inflicting heavy damage to my health bar. By not avoiding these painful feelings through distraction, you're actually on the quickest way to healing. Keep things in perspective. Getting rejected is not the end of the world. Take a deep breath, put on some Inya, grab a cold gingerade kombucha, and chill. Everyone gets rejected, including the most talented and successful of us. Failure is just part of the process, so try not to blow it out of proportion. Every rejection is just an opportunity to reflect, toughen up, and make new work. Which is why I'm going to take my rejected trash kraken window display proposal and turn it into a trash kraken painting on wooden panel. Whoever installed these windows made them a little crooked and probably didn't get a promotion. Hey, I installed those windows. 
and I think they look great. You know what, the windows aren't perfect, but they also don't need to be. They're as good as they could be in this particular moment in time. And that's good enough. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna add one more tip. Perfect is the enemy of done. You can obsess over trying to make something perfect, but perfection is impossible. And it doesn't need to be. Sometimes just completing the task is best. While I'm adding the final touches to this new and improved Trash Kraken, consider checking out my website where I sell original art, buttons, stickers, and this weird crying silhouette person on a t-shirt. Who wouldn't want to wear that? I'm just being real. So treat yourself or someone you care about to a unique gift from my store. Now for the final shots. Three, two, one. While painting this piece, I started to wonder, does the Kraken ever dream? What about the people trapped in the city? Do they ever have dreams? And do those dreams sometimes turn into nightmares? I went from a rejected window display proposal to having a full series of work. Trash Kraken attacks, Trash Kraken dream one through four, and Trash Kraken nightmare. If you want to own a piece of the Trash Kraken collection, they will be for sale on my website. All except for this one, Trash Kraken dream three of four. I'm going to be giving this one away, so if you want to enter, hit subscribe and leave a comment. 10 days from the post date of this video, I'm going to be picking a random comment, and if they're subscribed, I'm going to be mailing it off to them. One entry per person. I'm gonna announce the winner on my Instagram so you can follow me there if you want to stay informed. I hope some of these tips were able to help you. If you know of any other tips on how to handle rejection, let me know by writing a comment. I'd love to read it. If you want to be notified when my next video will drop, hit subscribe and ring the bell. I have some really exciting videos coming up that you're not going to want to miss. Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Ryan Tate and be kind to yourself today. So celebrate every L because a W is really just two L's pushed together. Now to relax and watch some TV in my cozy sleepy peach cardigan. Coming in live, strange activity has been spotted at Ballard Blocks. I've never seen anything quite like this. A large creature has just emerged. What? It's over there. I repeat, a large <gasps> creature has just emerged. <gasps> no way. <gasps> Oh!